What's up guys, Boulet Doyan Motor. Today we have uh, the privilege to try uh, a newcomer, a new bike. It's uh, distributed in Indonesia by SYM, by SM Sport. Uh, so this bike is, uh, is an adventure bike. This is a two-cylinder bike. The horsepower that this bike develops is uh, 36 Point three uh, horsepower, so 36, 37 horsepower. So the torque is very interesting on that bike. And that's why I was very curious to try this little uh, bike because it will be a good, a good compromise for people who are looking for mid-size, medium-size adventure bike. And what I like also is the little attention. You have a full... 12 volt socket in here and here an USB plug so very good for adventure so you can charge everything you need all the cameras all the equipment you need seat is very low and very uh, seems to be comfortable and it's not attached properly apparently good thing I check oh so that's the that's a toolbox so to put the seat on ini arus masuk di sini yeah let me bike okay let's go for a ride First impression, she's uh, very stable. The torque at low RPM is uh, very good. Eh? She uh, in fourth gear. She really rides very well. Neutral, easy to find. You have the pressure. So this is the rear pressure, 2.5 bar. The front pressure, 2.3 bar. We will go deep into that later on. But right now what I can say is, uh, st I mean, I sit and my feet are perfectly on the ground. So for riding position, my legs are a bit up, but it's not too tiring. My bike is, my back is uh, quite straight. Even maybe if I will prefer to have the, I will raise the bar maybe a little bit on this one to be a little, little bit more comfortable on it. The engine is very responsive. The bike is quite small actually. It's a bit like a, like a KTM 390. You feel the chassis is uh, vibrating. I mean, you have a lot of vibration. The good thing is that you don't feel the vibration on your feet with, uh, with the rubber. And you feel a little bit of vibration on the, on the handlebar. Oh yeah, she's more, more firm than my Versys X.
Yeah, I like, really like the torque, eh? I'm in 6 gear and uh, it's very interesting when you accelerate you don't need to drop a gear and yeah what I feel I the, the windshield is doing a great job but I just feel I'm 180 centimeter and I just feel some wind on the top of my peak Oh, yeah, the suspension is quite tough. She will, she would deserve better suspension. So the dashboard, got, the dashboard automatically switch on and off with the with the light sensor, and then also your lights uh, are automatic. Vibration are everywhere. Yeah, the, the chassis is stable, you can feel quite hard, but the vibration are coming from, I guess, some of the plastic. Like those one. Oh yeah, that stuff. Yeah, the external temperature is not working. Uh, time apparently is not working. Also, it's still one thirty-four. Pressure seems to be working, temperature on the rear seems to be working, 43, 37 in front, I like that. You know what, she feel like the, the Transalp. Even the sound. The sound and the, the sound and the power actually. It's a bit like uh, like a Honda Transalp 600 or 650. Yeah, suspension wise it's pom pom pom. That's what is vibrating this big plastic in here. Second gear, she's she's going. For example, with my Versys, second gear in here is not possible. Okay. So you're doing it. So I like really like the view in here because this is uh, 
This is South Bali, uh, this is Jimbaran, and then you can see the whole island. I really like this place. And this is the Garuda Visnu Kenshana. So, They, re they really play well the, the copycat of the BMW GS. You have even the GS on the tank like that. I would say that standing up on it is quite cool. The, the tank is quite narrow, so it's easy to, to block with your, with your knees. But there is a lot of rattle, vibration. Like This is just like... Actually, if you take off that, you will not have that drrr, that vibration because this is really annoying or they should put like some rubber so then it will not uh, make some noise because that's really annoying Good torque at low RPM, so it was quite easy to uh, to go up. I was a bit impressed. Oh, but that's why she's so noisy. That's why. How come this thing is like that? Who did that? That was vibrating like crazy. How does it work, this thing? Is there a, yeah, there is a clip in here that should go here. Nah, that should not vibrate anymore. Uh, still. So if we look at the detail of that uh, dashboard, it's quite impressive the what they could do with this bike. If we see in detail what we have in here, uh, we have everything. Uh, we have the external temperature, we have the time, we have the total odometer, we have the trip, we have the average consumption, we have the instant consumption, we have the average speed, the maximum speed, we have the temperature of the of the tires, guys, the temperature and the pressure of the tires. It's the first time I see that on the, on the Chinese bike. Uh, you have the temperature of the engine, temperature of water, uh, and the gas gauge. A gear indicator and you will also have the the battery in, uh, level indicator I mean it, it can it cannot be more complete than that I can feel also that this is a version for Indonesia because yeah, I don't know if you can see that but the seat is very low so I guess that this version of the seat is for Indonesian people they made a low seat so I'm sure that they have a seat a bit more high. This seat is quite comfortable actually. Much more comfortable than my Versys X Tourer for sure. It's not difficult. <laughs> the Versys X Tourer is one of the most uh, harsh seats that exist. But I really like the, the comfort of it. And it compensates because the suspension are very, very uh, tough. And the chassis as well is very tough. I like the sonority of the engine. And it's crazy to think that this bike come like she is, like with everything on. Crash bar, boxes for 98 million on the road in Bali. I will put the how much is it in dollar and euro. But it's it's quite a cheap bike, uh, I mean, considering everything she had on. Uh, one note, the ABS, you cannot disconnect it. Uh, there is ABS, but you cannot disconnect it. And unfortunately, there is no central stand. So you know that on my Versys x -Tourer, when I put it on the central stand, I can disconnect the ABS by tricking the sensor. But in here, as I'm alone, it will be difficult to try to do that. Or I will have to be in the sand and then spin the wheel to make sure 
that I can disconnect it. But anyway, on this bike right now, the ABS is not on because they didn't plug everything on it. It's just a bike for the test ride. So I don't have ABS right now on. So that, that means that you can anyway disconnect it by taking off a fuse or something like that. They've been very serious uh, in terms of foot peg. I like it because it's rubberized. You can take it off and then you have the good grip. They could make an effort and put something that retract, but well, you will change that. There is no handguard also, but you know what? Anyway, the handguard that most of the people provide are shit, uh, are plastic. So I appreciate that they didn't put anything and then you will make, you will put a bark buster. But you can set your lever. Only the, the front brake though. You cannot set the, the clutch. Uh, same thing for the pedal in here, but good grip for the boots. Otherwise, uh, what can I say? Full LED lights. You can, the lamp are automatic, but if you want, you can put it on. This is the normal running light, and then this is the high beam. Otherwise, you let it do uh, automatic in here, auto light, as well as the dashboard. It turns on and off automatically, depending on the, on the condition of the lightning. The weight is 200 kilo. It's quite heavy. Uh, it's uh, the dry weight, 200 kilo. There is 20 liter of uh, gas. So that means that uh, total weight should be around 215 kilo. Uh, with all oil and, uh, and gas on. But I'm very surprised, the, the volume of the bike is quite small. It reminds me of the KTM 390 actually. It's the same feeling, the, the, the body feeling is the same. Yeah, I can feel that the character of the engine is more like Kawasaki, like uh, it's quite smooth and then uh, as soon as you pass uh, 8,000 RPM, you have a second, a second boost. But that's where actually the, the max power is. Until that uh, level of RPM, you are using the torque. And after that, uh, the power go uh, in the high RPM. Interesting. Yep, very interesting, the, the, the engine uh, characteristic, and I like the, the sound of it. But otherwise, six gear and that's it, yeah, she really like to, uh, she really like to cruise, huh? this little bike. Very interesting bike, actually. The more I practice it, the more I like it. So yes, yeah, standing on it is quite nice because you can really grip your grip the, the tank with your legs. It's even smaller than my uh, Versys x -Tourer. Maybe I will need a little bar raiser for this bike. Bar raiser and seat raiser. <laughs> Fifth gear. Yeah, enough talk to... Uh, to pass in fifth. Suspension are getting better also, step by step. The more I use it, I get used to it. It's a more, bit more stiff than the Versys, but then it doesn't plunge, like it's, it's more rigid. The protection of the of the windshield is impressing. I don't have wind. And I like the fact that the seats uh, 
in the in my lower back it's coming back a little bit and it's uh it just enveloped my buttocks like that so yes more comfortable than my versus extruder yeah i really like the i really like the engine now it's funny because the first half hour i was just like uh, i don't know I, you know like uh, but now that's why it's important when you when you try a, a bike to try it for a couple of hours because you you will see that your behavior your behavior will change during the the test i mean the feeling that you have of the bike will change talking about the brakes the the brakes are very very strong i like the fact that you have two discs in front and when you uh, when you brake you really feel it that's what i miss on my uh, on my versus as well in conclusion what do i think about the zongshen air ax air <laughs> what do i think about the zongshen rx3s 400 or 377 well i liked it there is flows for sure like every bike there is always flows in the, in the bike it's always the same i love my versus but there's a lot of flows i love the zongshen the sm sport in here in indonesia but she has also some defect so uh, what did i like about the bike i like the power i like the behavior of the bike i like the torque I like the sitting position. I like the equipment. She is complete. Complete. I really liked this little bike. I'm sure they have another seat that will be more comfortable. This seat compared to mine is day and night. It is really, really comfortable compared to what I have. I like the sonority. I like the, the fact that everything is more off-roady. Like look at the exhaust look at the foot peg look at what i have uh, on mine the crash bar but that's where actually we're going to talk about the the pioneer everything i mean i like everything about about that bike the dashboard everything is cool about that bike what i didn't like about it it's just like unfortunately like many chinese bike uh the vibration you have a lot of vibration but I guess it's coming uh, first. I realized that a lot of vibration were coming from this uh, plastic. Like zzz, grrr. So because this dashboard is so big. So what you should do is put some, uh, some rubber in here. Then it will not vibrate anymore. It's too bad because it does something. There is some deflection of the wind in here. You are very, very well protected. Much more protected than my, my Versys. Really like it. Now, uh, what I say about the finishing is uh, uh, it's the Chinese finishing, like the the bolt, the apa, the yeah, the bolt that are getting rusty. You can change that for sure, and maybe uh, you can uh, put something else in terms of crash bar. The crash bar doesn't seem to vibrate. It doesn't seem to be the problem. For sure, you will have to protect also the the oil filter in here. Uh, because otherwise it will uh, but it's easy you already have the bar so you, it's easy to put something to a, 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 a bash plate a skid plate to uh, avoid to touch the the engine or the projection of the of the stone but i can see that in terms of ground clearance is it higher than my than my versus it seems to be higher than my versus strangely enough though the exhaust is going under like that yeah you have more gr ground clearance but the exhaust also is going under maybe you can find something to correct that you can see that uh, in terms of body they are quite the same but you can see the difference in terms of suspension i mean the what they put on the on the zongshen on the sm uh, sport is way way bigger I found it quite easy actually to uh, to handle 
and the character of the engine is very close to the Kawasaki, except that you have more torque because you have more uh, more uh, capacity in terms of uh, cc cent uh, cube centimeter cubic centimeter. It's bigger. So do I doyan this bike? Yes, I do. There is vibration, but actually you could, uh, I'm sure you could do something. It's just about plastic. It's plastic vibrating, so you can modify that. Uh, but look at the finishing. I mean, you can, uh, you can uh, put the, set your lever. I mean, on my Kawasaki, uh, you, you don't even dream about it. Uh, and little attention, you know, like this is nothing, but you know, it's not complicated to make. But I remember on the Benelli I was complaining about it, on the TRK502. Uh, it's not complicated to make a, 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 tank, uh, a tank hatch uh, that is attached. I mean, it's uh, so you don't have to put it somewhere. That's clever. I like overall the quality of that bike, yeah, honestly. Spoke wheel and everything. I mean, this is, this is not, doesn't look cheap. That's what I like doesn't look cheap even the main plastic doesn't don't look cheap it's just like the the little accessories like that or I'm sure the vibration come from that as well so like usual guys like it if you like it dislike it if you dislike it subscribe if you want to do whatever you want and see you soon for other adventure or other test ride for now Good job, uh, Zongsen. Chinese bikes are getting better and better. Oh yeah, a word about uh, that compared to uh, Benelli TRK 502X. The Benelli TRK 502, you can feel the quality is superior. The finishing quality is superior, but less vibration for sure. But the weight, this is compared to, it's, it's crazy because it's what, 20 kilo difference, but this is much more lighter. You, you don't feel the weight about this one. The weight is much more lower on this one. The Benelli was a bit too heavy. This one is really easy to, to handle, a bit like the, like the Versys. Because the Versys also is 175 kg plus the, plus the tank. It must be 185 kg. This is 215. But, well, uh, you don't feel it, the weight. I felt as comfortable as I feel on my, on my Versys. Good job. See you soon. Bye-bye.